Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, April 26th, and you are watching or presenting or participating in the weekly community call for chaos. So we're really happy that you're here. I am Elizabeth, the chaos community manager for those who are new to our group. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're really happy to see you. Um, just to reiterate, we always try to do this at the beginning of the meeting. Um, you do not have to have your camera on. If you want it off, that's totally fine. If you don't want to say anything, that's also totally fine. If you would rather participate in the chat window, that is 100% fine as well. So we are super chill here. Here are the minutes one more time if you need them. And if you would like to um, add your names as uh, attendees, that would be amazing. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. You don't have to. It's all good. Um, yeah, hope everybody's doing good. I see a couple of people are outside. I'm a little jealous. It's freezing here again. I'm so done with it. <laughs> I'm so done. It's like 40 <laughs> degrees out right now. I'm sad. Well, we're only at 50, so it's not like it's, it's nice though. It's very sunny. I don't know if you can that's see good. that or not. That's good. Uh, if you would like to put, tell us something that's going on good in your life right now, that would be great. If you want to tell us something else like your favorite food, I don't know, whatever. Tell us whatever you want. We're good. Um, okay, let's start with the agenda. So the first thing on here is the GitHub Maintainers Month planning doc. Let's see what this is about. It is not available to the public yet. We need access. Oh yeah, sorry. Let me let me give you access. <laughs> no problem. I've, I've I've had students me, turning in homework. Let me change the, that yeah. Didn't give me access, so. <laughs> it seems to be the spring. Let me update the link to the one that I forgot. Awesome. Thank you. Just a minute. Uh, you can come back to it if you want, Ruth. And I don't want to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, we can circle back. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I'm, okay. I'm, ha I'm having do not lunch. <laughs> totally fine. fine. Totally fine. Um, I put this on the agenda, this thing about the chaos con Europe, um, because I would like to just remind everyone, I don't think we've gotten any um, CFP uh, submissions yet, which it's still pretty early, granted. So it's totally fine. I just want to remind everyone that that's a thing. If you would like more information about that, you can go here to our website. I, I, I can say that uh, Daniel and I have had a few conversations about working together with uh, the to do group and the inner source commons to have a, a chaos software event of some sort it might be longer form than just an ordinary session, I think, from from the brief discussions we've had. And I, I think it's a, a potentially very exciting way of continuing to work to develop our chaos software community. And is that something, Sean, that you guys are going to run or are you, is it like, that's a workshop session, right? Like a hands-on? It'll be something. Yeah. We're, we're right now, I think we're thinking it'll be an offsite thing. Um, Daniel's communicating with the LF to see what space might be available. Um, so we're just going to, I do have a hookup there too, as well. So if you need space, I can get you space. Really? Um, that would be great. Um, why don't um, I'll message you and Daniel okay. um, about that. And that way we're all not having separate conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just let me know how I can support you. Oh, I'm going to, I'm doing messaging you and Daniel while we're talking here. Okay. I'm not going to see it yet, but <laughs> well, I, know. I will, I will respond. Totally, right. No, it's meeting. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. I'm, I'm exactly like that too. Hey, Sean, can you can you CC me on that as well, just so I can course, make sure that yeah. I get the information on the website as fast as possible? Yeah, and I, I, I mean, it's not pinned down yet. And the what I sent you is sort of the topic level sentence of what we're planning. And there needs to be more detail, I understand. So here's where we have more information about our CFP. Um, you have until Monday, May 30th to get yours in and you will just click this. If you can't access Google Forms for whatever reason, that's fine. You can just reach out to me. There's my email right there. 
Um, and we're looking for a few different topics and submission types. So um, yeah, here are your options. And then back on the other page are some topics that we would love to hear about. So let us know, we wanna hear from you. There was a virtual option. I don't know if, if you all saw that, but there is a virtual option if you can't make it over to Dublin in September. I'm still trying to find my passport. It is lost somewhere in my horrible house that's so disorganized right now. Um, I might have to go like do it in person, which ugh, I gotta interact with people. Oh yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, I couldn't I couldn't find my passport for two days after I got back from the Netherlands. Well, I haven't traveled internationally. I don't know. It's been years. So it's expired anyway. It's got the wrong name on it. So I'm, oh, yeah. Elizabeth, I'm a mess. Record, it took like six weeks for me to get mine. Yeah, I got to do that soon. Um, okay. So anyway, so that's that. Does anybody have questions, comments, feedback, anything? Have we about talked that? about a keynote at all? We've not. We haven't. That I'm aware of. If I, I may miss, I missed the call maybe, but. Are we meeting today? Is the CASCON planning keeps meeting? Do we need to? We could, maybe we could talk about that. And yeah. I think we could also maybe talk about um, seeking sponsorship and like all folks kind of pitching in and just making sure that's good to go. Um, so, oops, yep. So for those who are new to us, um, when it's time to plan chaos con, what we do is we cut this meeting a little short and then we add, um, we take the rest of the time and uh, just the chaos con committee plan, uh, planning committee meets for like the last 20 minutes of this meeting. So we'll probably cut this off at half past the hour um, just so we can do that. I don't know we were talking about keynote. So, so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. Cause most of the time, like the same people would be on this call too. So it just kind of makes it a little easier for us instead of having to carve out another whole meeting. Um, so that's what's happening. That's what we're talking about. Okay, anything else on this ChaosCon or ChaosCon CFP, any of that stuff? No, are, is, are we calling it OSS? Is it called OSS Europe still? As opposed to OSS EU? E yeah, because of Britain leaving the EU. Oh, I was just I, wondering. I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, I was just curious. It probably is. <laughs> I just met, I thought EU was just like short for Europe. I didn't oh, know. In that case, I think we're cool. All right. But I could just be wrong because I'm American and I get stuff wrong. No, no, no. All I, 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 I just, there have been some other th th things that have come up lately where the UK's leaving has been an issue for people. It's yeah, called the uh, Open Source Summit Europe on the website. Okay, well, that should work then. And on that note, it looks like we need to update our sponsor prospectus to no longer say North America uh, and, and, huh. and say Europe instead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody's looked at that yet. So good call. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead well, and move I'm, on. I've, I've one thought. Have we have we done anything or do we have a place where we are accumulating talks by people from chaos? Well, that uh, Google form will go into a spreadsheet. So I guess that's where they're. Is that what you mean? Though collecting? Yeah, up? like I've got I've got some accepted talks and I oh. don't know if anyone besides me knows about them. <laughs> You're talking about talks at other conferences at the OSSNA, actually. OK. Um, we don't I guess I it's not you're... OSS Europe. But. Yeah, um, there. I was looking through the schedule last night because I also have a talk there, um, and there's a few other chaos people that do. So we should yeah. probably put them all together somewhere and just let people know if they want to attend. Yeah, they can make a nice tweet, something we can promote. Yeah. It's not urgent. I just it occurred to me as we were discussing other OSS um, and a Europe types of events. Well, I think so. I mean, I like to build my schedule around seeing chaos people talk. Yeah. Let's start a doc or something just where we can. Let's start yeah. a doc. Can I spell today? What's going on with me? Can I start a doc? Okay. Yeah, my slots at the very last 
day, the very last talk slot. So I'm sure tons of people are still going to be around for it. I'm excited. We're going to have a little party because nobody's going to be there. So it'll be great. Anyway. Okay. I'll take that action item. And that way, if people do have talks that they're giving at conferences in general, you can just let me know or add it to this doc and we'll keep track and we'll try to help promote that for you among the chaos people. Um, I see some questions over here uh, from Venya. Can we have a running events widget on the WordPress site that pulls that information in? That is not a question that I can answer. So maybe Kevin, I don't know. Uh, the answer to that is yes, we could do that. Uh, if we if we know where to pull it from. Okay, so maybe there's a WordPress. If somebody uh, has a desire, I, I'm sure Kevin. I don't know if your your bandwidth is probably kind of maxed out right now. Um, but if somebody wants to look into this, how about it? Well, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a plugin. I mean, I think the. The question is about just having a page where we can display this information, right? Yeah, I think I think um, yeah, a plugin would let it would perhaps allow data entry for logged in users, but I, I I think a page is a good idea, and it would probably go under participation or something. Yeah, I and mean, the idea is to um, kind of have perspective. Um, future events displayed alongside past event content so that you can access that content yeah. whenever needed. But that's like the far off idea. The uh, current thing is just if we're going to start compiling other talk sessions or whatever, where it's like, hey, you should come to this thing. Uh, it'd be cool to have that underneath the participation. Yeah. And, and that, what, what made me think of this in addition to this conversation is we actually co-sponsored and co-ran a workshop on diversity, equity, and inclusion in research, software engineering, and recentering open source around the idea of community and DEI in the Netherlands for four days last week. And I didn't really make an announcement or tweet about it, like Matt and I knew about it and Elizabeth, but I mean, it's, we actually like chaos played a pretty big role in the ultimate resulting agenda. and. It'd be good to say something or have that somewhere that we could get credit for it. We did we did get a lot of credit and recognition on Twitter from various sponsors, members, funders, etc. But it would be good to have it on our website. So the, the the website is the website is built to pull information from uh, markdown pages, right? Some markdown right. documents. So if we if you create a markdown document and maintain it. With that information, yeah. we can create a page that would that would just show Should that. Should I put it under uh, uh, community and maybe call it events.md or something? Sure. Or, okay. Yep. So yeah, if it's just, a markdown page, we could easily make a Slack channel for upcoming events. You type into the Slack channel and then it just prints to a markdown. Maybe our Slack bot could just, every time it's changed, post something. Yeah. Yeah, and may, maybe we uh, maybe then rather than creating a new Slack channel, maybe we utilize the ChaosCon Slack channel. <laughs> well, uh, more Slack channel channels, being so. like, yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's something that we could like you could DM the Slack bot, and it would just happen from a yeah. like you would just have that yeah. conversation directly with Slack bot. Or, yeah, or I think that's, that's a that's great a way idea. to do it. That's the way Augur Select Bot works. All right. Some good ideas there. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Um, and Sean, just as an aside, I didn't even put that in the newsletter. So shame on me. Can you? Well, um, it's my fault. Yeah. No, no, I should know this stuff, though. Um, so I'm just going to make sure it gets in the next one. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm doing a write. I'm doing a write up of the summary this week, oh, so I'll get that to you for, for next week. Yeah, are you gonna put that on the chaos blog or? Um, I'll I'll share it with you, and then you can maybe edit it to pull out the chaos parts. Okay. I think there are some things that may be of less interest. For example, the the profession, 
the raising of the profile and out role of research software engineering is perhaps not of interest to the larger community, but uh, the health and sustainability of open source scientific software probably is. So, so. There'll, there'll be just some parts that like they would be helpful to have another set of eyes to chaosify. I don't think I don't think it's a heavy lift. I just think it's a hard lift for me to do since my head is so far in it. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Uh, I'll um, get that to you by Thursday or so. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we are going to move forward. Um, Ruth, should we look on this now? It looks like it's going to work. Hooray. Do you want to talk about this, Ruth? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, for folks that were not here last week, we chatted about uh, GitHub maintainer month. So there's a link to the site, the main site, I see more info about um, GitHub maintainers month. And they're like doing like a call out for, you know, organizations that want to do presentations or events in the month of June and GitHub is going to help promote them. So if you check, there's also a schedule. I think someone put a link to the three events that are on the schedule already. So this is like the planning doc that we're using to, you know, decide. We we talked about doing a burnout and mental health session last week, and so um, I and Matt worked on a a description below about the session, and yeah, we're thinking about the date, time, and if we want to do a link to register. Like if you see the first event upstream. Upstream is being organized by Tidelift and they kind of have, have a link to register. So we want to decide if we need it to register for this session and timing, you know, particular dates in June. So everything happens in June. So yeah, so we have um, a list of things to discuss. Okay, so it looks like these these are the things that we need to figure out. Yeah, and then if we need to add more description to that's what we have already. And then if we need the uh, graphics or images for like social media promotion as well. Um. And then also like a platform or would it just be on the Zoom call? Would it just be like a Zoom? Yeah, like exactly what where what platform we're using. Oh, that's not too bad. Awesome. Okay, this is a great start. Um, what what do you need from us? Do we want to sort this stuff out right now? We don't have a super ton of time, but we can work on that. Or do you want to take this offline? Like, what do you want to do next? Mm, we can have, I, I think if we want to sort it out now, it might take a lot of time, but um, we can do it async as well, but everyone can drop like what's a, what week in June we are looking at, then we, you know, Move with the date. Um, what's the best way for us to share that kind of detail? Do you want to just keep everything in the stock as your planning doc, or would that get yeah. too messy? Yeah, everything here works. We can clean up when we are done. Um, for timing um i'm assuming you're thinking this is probably like an hour session or is this longer than that yeah. an hour i think an hour should should work okay um so because for for timing i was thinking we could just send out a doodle or something like that so a lot of folks so you could see who's interested and when they're available or something like that we could do it per week and then or we could do it as a survey because it might I don't know about time zones and just general time blocks for folks. Okay. Check in the house. 
Okay, yeah, sure. I'll I'll create a doodle or a selfie link and I'll share it on the general channel on Slack. I also like I'm I'd be open to help you think through the discussion guide is sort of the kinds of questions that you'd want to ask. Um, I actually really like the questions that are already in the metric. I thought the, the DI working group did a great job of outlining various different types of questions that you could get to whether or not someone's feeling burned out. Um, so that's a good starting place, but others might have other ideas of sort of probative or discussion triggering questions. Um, do, if we have ideas for that, should we just put them in this doc? Yeah, sure. Just doc. Okay. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you. Fantastic. And then if anybody wants to help with this, either um, as a participant or help organize it, figure it all out, um, you can reach Ruth on Slack. She is Ruth on Slack. So there you go. Um, all right. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions or final comments for Ruth for this? All right, we'll go ahead and go forward. Um, I put this one on here. I just want to give a quick update on She Code Africa that we have two mentees that are working on a newcomer Slack bot. So when someone comes to chaos on Slack, they happen to mention certain keywords or ask questions something, they'll get a DM with some responses and some um, information for them. So hopefully it will be a little smoother of an onboarding process. They won't have to wait for one of us, somebody to answer the question. Um, and they're already to the point of having a demo ready for us. So they're gonna do that maybe either at the end of this week or sometime next week. We're just working on a date. Um, and kudos to Matt Cantu Snell and also Ruth for being amazing mentors to this team that we have. Um, Precious and Midi are awesome. So just wanna give everybody a quick update on that. Anything to add, Ruth or Matt? No, nothing on mind. Just happy to see how the bot is going. Yeah, that's all I have. Yeah, they're doing really great. Um, okay, so let's go on. We have a few minutes left. Uh, mentorship des decision process now. Uh, someone wanna talk about that? That was just me. So Outreachy and Google Summer of Code deadlines have passed. So at this point we have to make selections. Um, so that's just where we're at. I just wanted to let everybody know. And I would add, I think if anyone's interested, we have two projects listed for the outreach. We have, I think, 23 applicants or something like that. Um, if there's anyone that's interested in mentoring a project, um, right now, Matt and Elizabeth and I are the only people that are listed as mentor mentors, I believe, which is just an anomaly of the way we um, started that project. So um, if there's interest, let us know. Sean, what, I, what I, are the uh, what are the outreaching projects? Sorry to interrupt. So I remember the one is um, related to Augur and making the documentation more inclusive. Um, and uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember the second one, Matt, do you? Yeah, it's the contributor funnel. So it's it's the conversion rate metric. Take yeah. A look. Yeah, and you can count <clears throat> me in for the mentorship. So yeah, and great, thank you, Vinod. Um, so yeah, and then with regards to GSOC, um, GSOC's a little easier. We don't we have a lot of applicants to the web project, and I don't. Uh, do we want to? How do we want to conduct the? Kevin, do you want help? Filtering, do you want to make a recommendation? How do you want to handle that one? Because that's that was we had more applications for that project than any other. Maybe we could have that discussion, like not here. Yeah, I'm I'm just suggesting that all I'm asking for is should we have that discussion or schedule that discussion? We have until like May 4th to make our choices. See, I think the, the mentors for that project should probably meet and discuss it. Okay. 
Yeah, we can schedule something on Slack. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I would I would like to not make because we have to rank our projects this year, which is a little different than the process last year. And I would just like to have some degree of consensus about the rankings of the different applications. Um, so maybe just like a meeting where we look at them and rank them with some group included. Like I'd like to get you, I'd like to have Yahoo involved. Um, he's a mentor. Sean, um, is the debt, the fourth of May's deadline, is it for the candidate uh, applicant? No, 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 that's our deadline for ranking. So that's coming up pretty fast. Yeah, if that be the case, and today's already the 26th, it means we don't have much time to do that. That's right. <laughs> so if they can come up with something like uh, today or tomorrow, and then they start looking into it. Right. Uh, Elizabeth, do you want to just sol solicit a time sure. in the GSOC channel? Sure. Thank you. OK. Um, let's go ahead and move on, because we're going to end this pretty soon. I see somebody put on here website things. That would be me, but we don't have time for that today. So I was, it was mostly just conversations that Kevin and I had had, and you were on those too, Elizabeth, just in terms of like how we think of the website and particularly those paths, those user paths. And I was just kind of, I thought maybe we could spend a little bit of time even just getting feedback from people on this call as to what they use the website for, you know? So particularly from new contributors, people who just need information and existing community members. Okay, we will um, push that to next week so we can have a little bit more of an involved conversation about that. Um, but if everybody wanna kind of wants to think about between now and then, think about how they access the website, what they use it for, what they're, you know, how they get to what they're looking for, um, that kind of thing. Wh which of these buckets do you fall in? That would be great. Awesome. Um, number seven, uh, questions for Google season of docs, um, which yeah, is- Yeah, I, I put that there. So during the office hours today, two folks that are interested in season of docs asked the uh, questions. Um, one of which is, what's the deadline for, you know, sending me a proposal? Um, Cause I think timeline from Google is 16th of May. So um, here we have me, we just have me and not like, I think on the project timeline down this um, proposal, we have like me and there's no date. So um, they wanted to know particular deadline or if we're following through with. Google, Google season of docs is less structured in terms of explicit deadlines, other than they absolutely have to be finished by November 26th. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I think as a, as a practical matter, we can tell people that orientation would occur in like the last week of May or last week to 10 days of May. I, I think we likely won't be prepared to do the orientation before that. Mm -hmm. Just okay. we have to by the fourteenth we have to make a decision as to who to hire. So oh, we should right. yeah. we should probably set a deadline as to when we need material from people. Oh so yeah, that we make a decision it, to make a hire. Has does Google not set that deadline? I thought they at least did that. I don't think they do. Oh jeez. I looked okay. yesterday and I couldn't find it. If they do, let me look at the application. I swear there was a deadline. There are a bunch of deadlines, but they're like doc development can officially begin April 14th. Yeah, so, there's one deadline about like technical writer hiring deadline, May 16th. Let me right. send a link. So, uh, Sean, okay. and uh, do we want to get together and just pick a, d a day? Sean, you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth, maybe not you and I can zoom for 10 minutes and sort through the various deadlines and other okay. things we have going on to pick a date. But I. Um, yeah, we'll we do have that. a technical hiring deadline of May 16th. So I think it can't be much 
earlier than a week before that, given that it's April 26th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So one thing to see, it's a bit see, um, detail. Sorry. So there's, yeah, um, okay. there's a miss, I think there's something that is miss, um, they misunderstand on the proposal. When, um, Elizabeth, can you go to that um, proposal again? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so the part where it says um, we have also found three technical writers to work on the project. So there's some misunderstanding about, okay, has the project found technical writers already? So that question was also asked during the office hours. Yeah, so the, these are, are these, men, I guess the question again is, are these mentors? Are they just helping? Are they, were they Google season of docs students? Like, can we clarify this for yeah. people? what their role is. They have not been hired for this round. So Sean, for example, Andrew Brain, you have listed for Augur. So what is Andrew's involvement? Is Sean frozen? I'm not. Oh. In, in Andrew, do I have Andrew Brain, you mean? Yep. So right there yeah. under technical writers, Andrew yeah. is listed. So what is Andrew's role? Yeah, he's that the was first, the yeah, he's the one that writes a lot of our documentation today. Um, so he would he would be like a mentor. Okay. Okay. That was kind of my take is that they would kind of be advising and mentoring, maybe either officially or unofficially, but they would be part. But they are not Google season of docs people, students, applicants. No, no, okay. no, those, yeah, the, that was just like, I didn't want it all to be Gigorg. <laughs> okay. That was our default. Ruth, did that clear it up for you and for them, for whoever? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll probably send the PR to maybe add the R mentors. Yeah. yeah. Come up again. That'd be great. Okay, we have one final um, item on here from Anonymous yeah. Tiger. Uh, this is me. I put this idea, just a quick, maybe we can discuss in the next meeting too. So uh, there are a lot of metrics we have released and uh, after release, we come across different examples, practical examples. Like yesterday I was looking at the Slack, Ruth posted a burnout example. That was a classic example for a burnout metric. So I was thinking like having some place where we can point those examples, which are afterwards, like when we look a metric after some time, we want to see some practical examples, which are not documented in the release, but we can point out those examples, like a true example. So just wanted to share with the community, think of an idea where we can collect those examples. After the release, we see those in practical life having those reference points for future references. Venom, if I understand well, I think uh, like the point you are trying to raise for Kiosk to come up with, with practical use cases for the metrics that they produce? No, not to find out the use case. Like, uh, for example, there's a metric burnout I see a practical example being uh, discussed somewhere. I want to link that reference somewhere in the metric side so that if a, somebody wants to read that metric, they can practically see the examples. I'm not saying that should be a part of release. There should be some oh, forum, okay. maybe a GitHub issue or something related to that metric. Where can we can where we can uh, like put those examples which we see being implemented somewhere in the community. Okay, I see what you mean, because one of the other concerns, if we look at things uh, more technically or digitally, Kiosk is proposing these metrics and each community has its, will approach it or implement it differently. And yes, but if you look, uh, there are several things that have different factors that we don't really want to come up with a kind of template just up front to say this will cause burnout because it's it's too technical to go into that. But I really agree that they should give some kind of example cases. Yeah, because things like, take for example burnout, 
if you want to measure it in an organization. Most people are volunteers in some of these open source, some are paid. You don't know the other activities that people have been doing that accumulated stress over time. To come and point out the finger that, okay, because I've been working on this for 10 hours, this and these are some of the kind of psychosomatic stress that can really cause problems that we don't really want also to go for causal effect. We will give some, it's good to give some kind of indicators, but guide yourself the way we come up to some kind of conclusion. That can go back and don't sit well in the long run. So, I mean, it's good to have these metrics out there, then people, and just give some weak indicators and let people implement it from different perspectives. Okay, let's, let's talk about this a little more yep. next time. Is that okay, Benan? Yep. We'll just bring this up again and we'll chat a little bit more. Sorry that we're kind of tight on time today. Um, so I think that's important to talk about that uh, kind of feedback cycle. I think that you're talking about people implementing these in the real world. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and shut this meeting down and leave it for the uh, Chaos Comp Planning Committee for the last 10 minutes, if that's all right. Thank you everybody for coming today. And um, yeah, we'll see y'all later. Next time, next week, same time next week. We'll see you here. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye. Bye.